Hello and welcome back to some more Kenshin Impact. So I'm gonna actually uh, make some wishes very fast. Uh, I am recording before the end of 2.6, you know, version 2.6. So just on the off chance that I could, yeah, I didn't think I would, but I figured if I could possibly get another copy of Ayaka, even if the possibility was really small, I may as well go for it. Um, Boats are made for transferring commodities. That said, they. Even though I'm doing this before the end of uh, version 2.6, the Marvelous Merchandise uh, quest here was added. I've already done one of the parts of it, because uh, I've already done this so many times in the past. There's really uh, no need to record it. To stay a while. So it is where many um, things come to settle. Anyways, since I'm already over here, I may as well get this Sealy. Assuming, okay, good. I was going to say, assuming I can grab onto that ledge there, otherwise I'd have to drop down to one of those uh, launcher pads. Come on. Where is... Are, aren't there any other launcher pads over here? I guess it's going to just have me go up this weird path. Oh, there's the thing. Grab that lizard. Thank you. One man stole is another man's Um, gym. I guess we're fighting a hilly churl for this treasure. Okay, I was wondering if there was going to be more or not. Think you can get yeah, away? Up. Here we go. Yahoo! And I've got it. Awesome. And what's up with this area? Is this? Oh, this is where the, uh, little bridge is. Okay. But I still had some stuff to do back here. Uh, namely, I want to jump down below once I've checked out this upper area very fast. I don't see anything. I'm going to blow up these things Stabilize. just in case. Oh, wow. It looks like, uh, I was supposed to do that. Get rid of that. Thankfully, I could. I wasn't sure how that would have played out if I could. Anyways, it's been a while since I've not had a timed event to worry about. Today is a lucky I mean, day. Where it's like really involved. That said, by the next video, there may actually be. A uh, new version up of the game or whatever, and that might come with some new quests to do. Oh, I can't go up any higher? I felt like that launch pad, pad was not there for any good reason, other than possibly getting over here, I guess. So let's jump down here now. Make sure I'm not missing anything along the way. I don't want to land in the water, though, just in case, because I am low on stamina. It doesn't seem like there's any... What the? Oh. Solidified. I was gonna say, it doesn't seem like there's any deep bodies of water down here. There's really shallow water. So what's up with this? This is obviously related to a puzzle. And what is this? Oh, it's a star shroom. Okay. This turned off. Right. Oh, it's one of those puzzles where you have to collect things very quickly. Okay. That's not too big of a deal. As long as I'm quick about it. Ah. And I would be quick about it if I didn't get caught. Thank you for the pitter. Unsolicited. And all the more valuable for I'm it. Thinking. I'll explore this lower layer first, and then worry about the upper layer. Uh, you know, because that's where the quest is. I think it is, anyways. Yeah, it's all the way up there. Oh, there's some new enemy types. Oh, this is Stabilize. interesting. I hope that they're not annoying to fight. Oh, they can fly. Take flight. Yep. At least they can be frozen, but the fact that they can fly makes them annoying already. 
Whirling they don't seem to get stunned when you hit them. Uh, that said, they Time can be off. knocked out of the air and sucked up with the venti facility, so that's good. In other words, they're what the specters should have been. At least in my opinion. Whoa, what was that? Bungle spores, huh? Uh, I have a feeling that there's going to be a big version of these guys that I absolutely despise. Just based off of prior experience with uh, certain enemies. Doesn't matter though, because that'll be a while yet before that happens. I'm surprised I was able to freeze that one. I think it was a cryotype. Today is a lucky day. Let's grab this lumen spar very fast. Thank you. I'm not forgetting these. Now I see a weasel over there. Uh, I'll grab this star shroom. I'm not sure which way to go. Oh, I almost missed the whopper flower nectar. I guess I'll go down this path. Okay, it just connects back. I had a feeling it would. Um... I'm gonna ignore that weasel, though. Let's play this. Okay, so starting with the barrel on the right, and slowly, slowly working my way to the left. Assuming my aim isn't really bad. Oh, I almost missed this one. Okay, good. Chasm Adventure. Thank Barbados. Okay, this area looks like it's going to be a dead end in a second. Just give me a second, dude. Oh. There's more than one of them. I thought it was only one. Grab all that. What the? Think I got can stuck get away? for a second. Here we go. And they're dead. I had a feeling that Venti's elemental burst would take care of them. Where is... Is that all they drop? Weird. Okay, I'm not gonna go all the way up, but I am jumping up just in case there's anything like on an immediate ledge over here. Like right here, for example. I have a feeling that this actually is the path that goes further in. Yeah. So, I probably don't need to go that way. That said, just kind of looking around. I'll eventually get to that point up there, just by exploring that one area for the quest. So I'll leave that alone for now. Grab this star shroom. And this firefly, if I can reach it. Wouldn't gliding be faster? Or luminescent fly, or whatever. I don't remember what it was called. Um, I heard something squeaking. I think it may have been that weasel. Now I think about it. Wasn't there a quest related to weasels or something? In their brain? In my uh, quest book? I can check very fast. Uh, yeah, look for a ring stolen from Tlyson. Where is that supposed to be? Oh, it's in Liyue? Okay. I wasn't sure if it was inside the chasm or not. I thought it was inside, because I think I got the quest inside. So here's a Sealy. May as well go get that now. Cause I don't see anything else over there. I think I got everything down below. Initially when I came into this room in the previous video, I thought that the bottom area was like an abyss type area where, you know, you would like respawn if you fell in. So I was a little bit surprised to find that it wasn't. Thank Barbados. Wait a minute. 
Anyways, there we go. Got that. Yeah. Go up here. I don't think I can get rid of that. I'll mark it though. I haven't been marking all of them. I should really do that though. Okay, there we go. That was weird. <laughs> Didn't want to work for a second. Okay, give me. Uh, have you heard the ballad of the? Oh, there's a little hole there. I didn't even. I think that's a hole. Oh no, it's not. I thought the. I thought it was a hole because the way the hilly pearl backed up to it. I thought I was actually entering the wall slightly. I guess the way the lighting was also made me think that. Oh, am I still following the the ceiling? I kind of forgot about it if I was. Oh, there's another ceiling. Um, uh, wait a second. Wait a second. Am I supposed to... get these ceilings to go into the right position and then stand near this? Is that... How it's supposed to work? Oh. Gotta go over here now. Okay. Activate that. Oh, this can be used to light that up. Okay. So, that one goes there. I wasn't missing a Sealy after all. I don't think he's going this way, is he? Yeah, he is. Go a little bit further, dude. No! He went past it. Finally. I finally got it. That was an interesting puzzle. I liked it. That said, I do want to make sure that both Sealies have gone upward. I saw one of them heading up, so... I assume both of them will. Oh, there's another puzzle. Well, that's interesting. I want to get this Lumen Spar first. Worry about that other puzzle a little bit. Obviously, I've got to fight that guy. Uh, but I'll worry about that when the time comes. Um... Okay, I opened that door. What was the point? I guess I'll jump down there in a second. There's another, another thing with writing on it. Let's go up here. Just to grab the lumen stone that's up here. Thank you. Now let's jump down after the ceiling. Whee! Oh boy. The cell marked on the map should be. Let's bring it and get going. Okay. Certainly worth the extra mile. Um. Let's get rid of that stuff. Oh, there's the bell. <laughs> I suppose. Gather. Can do Hold this very fast. Too hard. The fact that these guys can be frozen is a big help. I remember a time when these types of enemies were really dangerous to fight. Now it's like, eh, normal enemies, essentially. I'll, I'll ring the bell very fast. Why not? I can solve all the puzzles afterward, unless it teleports me away. Then I'll have to come back here to solve it later. So, what'd that do for us? Approach the dark fog. Okay, they want us to approach the dark fog up in this area again. Uh, once I've explored more over here, I will definitely do that. But first things first, I am wondering where that ceiling Time is. for takeoff. Like, I 
Brace obviously yourself. had one of them taken care of, but the other one kind of disappeared on me. Can't help but wonder about that. Today is a lucky day. Anything else going on over here? Uh, hmm. Okay. I guess I'll get rid of this guy. Collecting rare and exquisite treasures. Yes. I didn't do that though. Uh, can I activate this? Obviously, this area back here is important somehow, but I don't know how to get back there. I've already marked this general area on the map though because of uh, that thing, so hopefully it's related to that in some way. Yeah, I'm pretty much done in this area for now. Although, I do want to go further in to that one area. Uh, you know, this area up here. And the reason why is because there may be a teleporter that I can activate before teleporting back to where the fog is. Okay, I can't go any further this way. So let's go back to where that is. And don't die. Oh no! I couldn't pull out my glider in time. It wouldn't let me actually pull it out before the cutscene started. That's funny. So I've got to revive him very fast. Um, let's just go ahead and do this. An unknown construct that you discovered in the castle. I'm here, Aether. The site's been the campsite been set up. Is that her voice? It's coming from up ahead. How did you get in front of us? This is weird. So you gotta go that way, but there is a there is a thing. Oh, it's all the way up there. Huh, I'm gonna have to get that a little bit later. I wonder if their campsite moved over here then. There's also a Lumens Bar up there. I'm gonna grab that very fast. Here we go. Oh, and there's one all the way over there, too. Uh, I wonder if I can kind of, like, mark out that general area by looking. I think it was, it's, like, right around there-ish. So if I do that right, I should be able to get over there after I, uh, see this cutscene. It's great that you're all right. What? 
What were those two creatures? I've never seen anyone or anything like that. <laughs> all right, all right. There's no need to be so strict. I won't risk provoking them, I know. How'd you get in front of us? We came through a hidden mine in the western side that just so happens to let us get around areas infested with the black matter and the strange cr creatures below. <laughs> uh, are you alright? I'm fine, I'm fine. That road was pretty hard to find, and no mistake. It might have been some sort of path the treasure hoarders carved out en route to their loot stashes. But I can't imagine them wanting to come this far down either. Well, our campsite this site isn't too far away. Let's talk as we go, shall we? Okay. So... Which way do they want me to go? Oh, they want me to go this way still. Uh, you know what? I'll do that after I get those two lumens bar. Actually, I'll do that after I finish this, uh challenge over here, and then get the two lumens bar, and, yeah, um, I wasn't even talking about this challenge, by the way, I just noticed this, randomly. Ah, have you heard the ballad of the treasure yep. chest? <laughs> Ignoring this enemy, and that enemy, they can join me in this, uh, fight over here if they want to fight. Defeat three opponents. Well, show them to me. Thank you. A little bit unfair that it took so long. Camera's still counting down. The only problem with uh, this game is sometimes moments like that occur. Well, it's not the only problem, but it's a fairly large problem when it comes to challenges and stuff. Thankfully, they don't cost like some kind of currency to activate. Otherwise, I'd actually be mad. Order guide you. Please. Ah, I I can't defeat them. It took if it didn't take so long. It took like a good solid three or four seconds. But if it hadn't taken so long to spawn them in the first time, then I may have uh, tried it. My goal is to get rid of the big guy first. Then I can worry about the little guys. Okay. I think I got rid of the two little guys by accident, but that's fine. Because it was mainly why I was targeting the big guy. Collecting rare and exquisite. Okay, good. I never really investigated these rooms before, uh, so I'm not terribly surprised that there's stuff uh, in these areas. Like One this, for man's example. Stone is another man's gem. Anyways, let's <laughs> grab that very fast. Ah, that was weird. I didn't mean to hop back and forth like that. Can I land on something here? No, not really. The lumen spar I'm looking for is up there, and there's also a challenge marker right there. So I may as well do that as well. Uh, what are those? Oh, it's one of those uh, guards or whatever. Conria guards. Don't lead me too far away. Okay, two more, and I know where they are. Oh. For some reason, I thought I was gonna have to step back up there. The extra mile. Okay, let's grab that up there. Does this lead into that other uh, area? Yeah, it looks like it might actually lead into that other area. Let's see if defeat this spider. Or, nope. Never mind. Okay, there is a path I can take over this way. So that's good. Speaking of which, we heard a few tolling sounds not long after we entered the mines, and then the tunnels started collapsing. 
We were just ba barely able to, uh, blah, I can't read that. Would you happen to know anything about that, Aether? Hee hee hee, not really. Thank you, Paimon, for answering for us. Certainly worth the extra mile. Keeping it a secret. I got the general gist of what she was saying anyways. So, here's a teleporter. Nice to see that. We're here! Welcome to the forward operating base, or whatever. I'm gonna talk to Jinwoo. The smell coming from the mines has changed again. Ah, you're here. Thanks for helping us clear the path. She was uh, also a big help in guiding us as well, so thank you both. Uh, tell me about the camp. Well, it looks good, eh? My specialty, by the way. I started learning all this from my father starting from the time I was around 10. How to set up campsites, how to make crystal lamps, how to maintain mining equipment. I learned and learned, and my father grew old all the while. Eventually, when his eyesight started failing, it fell to me to maintain the safety equipment in the mine. And even later on, well, as you can see, I'm not young anymore myself. As for the rest of my tale, it's not much. I found a man, lost a man, had a daughter who went off to Samaria to study. She doesn't seem that old. Anyways, sometimes when the men at the mines leave us early, it falls to me to take care of their kids. So I carry some sweets around all the time. And that's why, in my mind, kids always look this way to me. Sweet smelling, staring at me from when they are on the ground. Uh, where they are on the ground? Waiting for candy or some colorful rocks to play with. Uh, whoa, so do you have candy on you right now, Jinmu? Candy? Well, it's not the fancy type that you like to get in the city, but you're not going to be picky now, are you? Ah, so that's the kind of candy you're talking about. People come and go, leaving only memories behind to accompany me. And adventurers who go into the mines like you? Of course. Uh, I got sugar former. Okay. Uh, refine the adjuvant. There we go. That's what I wanted to do originally. So let's go ahead and upgrade. I will now be able to get rid of the level two uh, things. So that's good. Okay, I'm just uh, curious about what the other upgrades could do. So let's go ahead and talk to her now. <laughs> oh, hello there. Is there something you need? You're co a coughing away. You sure you're okay? I'm alright, really. The air down here is just kind of thin, which doesn't sit too well with me. Ah, yes. This is the map that I drew earlier. <laughs> uh, well, that feels better. Uh, you'd best rest up. Don't go running around all over the place now. Speaking of maps, we've got one for you as well. It's a map of the Two Strange Bells. Seems like it's something those dastardly Fatui left behind. Thank you, I'll incorporate this new location into my map. Uh, wait a moment. Did you say Fatui? They've tunneled into this place as well? Certainly looks like it. Huh. Looks like we've got to be even more careful while exploring the chasm. Speaking of which, we found this. You've been around here more, so you probably know about uh, know what this is used for, right? This? I think I found a gate with symbols similar to this one somewhere deeper down. <clears throat> ah, sorry. If I remember correctly, you could hear the wind behind that gate. I'm quite sure that there should be a large open space behind it for us to explore. I wonder what relationship this thing has to that gate. Might it be a key of some sort? <laughs> She's right. This is a device used to unlock the gate. Whoa! Where'd you come from? Uh, hello, before joining the conversation might be nice. S sorry Um... 
I was just too eager to say that the strange devices indeed used to open doors. I once looked into similar devices, and just as luck might have it, the device in your hands is an exact match to the one in my research lab. Unfortunately, neither alchemy nor basic mechanics can help us understand the energy held within these devices, nor can they explain the principles behind the, uh, their ability to unlock and lock gates. A research lab? We Amerta, we Amerta, huh? Take a rather dim view of those who rely purely on theory. That said, we often have to work with those blockheads from Spanta Mad all the time. <sighs> well, that's all I can tell you. There isn't much else to be said with regard to the ac academia. Oh, I have a pillow right here. You can keep talking. Oh, I'll stop. I'll stop. I didn't form this exploration team to divulge all our secrets or something. Whatever the case, if we're able to find that gate that she spoke of, we'll be able to use this strange device to open it. Let's go together then, shall we? Ever since you shared this new map with me, I've been left with this last section unmapped. I just thought that we could... <clears throat> Whoops, sorry. You know... We could get it all done in one go. <laughs> uh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. We can leave the map thing aside for now. Uh, have you had close contact with that black muddy stuff at any point? Oh, I'm fine. The environment's just not sitting too well with me, you know? I mean, this is nothing for a true adventure. <laughs> Nothing. Hey, you'd better wake up, you hear? You're the only person, I repeat, the only person in the whole team who has shown such negative reactions during this process. We have to send you up to the surface to rest. If we go now, there's still time. Hmm. All right, all right. Don't look at me like that. Do whatever you want. It's not as if I'm your parent or something. Uh... Will you really be fine, or could I? Do you mind explaining? I'm telling you this out of the goodness of my heart. Don't take it for a reason to violate the strictures of the academia. I'm sorry, I cannot divulge the details, but she has got. Uh, she has to get some distance from the thing under the chasm. Uh, no, she has to leave the chasm itself. Wait, what? Come on, you're talking in riddles. Are you just annoyed that she's not well or something? She is very sick, yes. And if no one takes it more seriously, it really will be too late. Hmm. Alright, please, just stop it. <laughs> I joined this team of my own accord. I'm not going to change my decision based on what others say. Hmm. Yes, and I suppose as an adventure, your primary concern is this remuneration. If you're willing to leave, I'll make sure you're compensated. It'll be quite the generous package. The representatives from Liyue will understand as well. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I'll have to excuse myself now. The area Aether cleared out needs remapping. I shan't waste any. Uh, I shan't waste your time any further. Right, Aether. I'll head to the gate that I mentioned before later. If that's where you're, he where you're headed, we can meet up there. Huh. This kid is not to be reasoned with at all. You're being too harsh on her. Could I? Exactly. You were so curt, and you didn't explain anything either. Is there any wonder that you, you ticked her off? Heh. <laughs> I just didn't expect that she would have literally no concern for her life at all. You know what? Forget it. She can do what she wants. And then she'll regret it later and ask for help. That's how young people are. Always gotta take a hit or two before they learn. What exactly is wrong with her, anyway? What we're facing is, in essence, very similar to the anomalies on Dragonspine. In the sense that their source is something alien to this world we know. 
and it involves a clash of two energies. And that is why we had to get you on the team, Aether, since you were able to manipulate the elements without use of a vision. For normal people like us who have neither visions nor can manipulate the elements, these anomalies are malignant, even fatal. Those who have close contact with the source of the anomalies may begin to lose touch with the world. Some will weaken swiftly and even... So she is in trouble. That's as much as I can say. Wait, then what are we supposed to do? Should we chase after her? <sighs> it's her choice. Hmm. But we can't just stand by and watch. We should at least try, Aether. Well, don't let me delay you either way. I'll leave you to your own business. There's still a great many secrets for us to discover down here. And if you meet her, please take care of her on behalf of the rest of us. Oh, more of the map is uh, cleared up. So this area is pretty big from the looks of things. Uh, and this is actually probably where I'm going to be stopping. So uh, I'll search this immediate area for a couple of goodies very fast. Like there's a, uh, there's this right here. I'll grab that. But uh, otherwise, yeah, I'm going to be stopping here. What's in this? Oh, it's a bird. So, thank you very much for watching. The next time I play, I'm going to be continuing this quest, going further into the chasm. And I don't know if uh, any new timed events will be added by then, aside from, you know, this quest being updated. But, uh... I'm assuming something new will be added sooner rather than later. So, yeah. If uh, that's available, I'll also be doing that. And I haven't forgotten about uh, that, you know, commission thing that Paimon mentioned in the last video, you know, where I need to go talk to somebody about the Archon quest being done. But that'll be later on. So, yeah. Thanks again. Where See you next time. And bye. Next?